So even in HER2 IHC0, there is some HER2 expression, and there are about 30 to 40,000 HER2 receptors per cell, even in tumors that are IHC0. So zero does not mean that there is no HER2, it's just that by IHC we cannot detect it. But for an ADC like trastuzumab deroxetan, all you need is the receptor to be present. And if the receptor is present, the ADC would bind to it, get internalized, release the payload. So biologically, I feel that for luminal cancers, trastuzumab deroxetan works across the HER2 spectrum, even in tumors that are IHC zero from an immunohistochemistry perspective. Then there's a practical answer. If you look at the FDA label of trastuzumab deroxetan, that's for HER2 ultra low and HER2 low. So for insurance reasons, we are stuck with finding a tumor that has some HER2 expression. So that can either be low and ultra low. And just to build on this, what is low and ultra low? Low and ultra low essentially refers to the HER2 expression. So low would be low HER2 expression, which is HER2 IHC 1+ or two plus without fish amplification, and HER2 ultra low is what we call zero plus, which means some HER2 staining, but less than 10% of tumor cells. So if there are two or 5% of tumor cells having some HER2 expression, that would be considered HER2 ultra low. And so the original HER2 positive essentially is HER2 high expression. HER2 high expression is HER2 positive, and then HER2 low expression, and then ultra low expression.